All right, so today we're making fresh almond butter, and we're going to use Ellie's Best Raw Sweet Almonds. We're going to roast two cups for 20 minutes at 350. Okay, so now we have our roasted almonds, and we're going to add those to the food processor. We have a quarter teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt, which you can add to taste if you want more. Okay, so now we're just going to hit on, and it's going to go for quite some time. And it's going to seem like it takes forever, but you just keep going until it gets nice and creamy. Here we go. Okay, so that didn't take too long. We're going to go ahead and try it. Look at how beautiful that is. Nice and creamy. Mmm. Oh, man. That is so good. Super simple. Okay, so we used um, Ellie's Best Wild Harvested Raw Sweet Almonds for these this almond butter. And um, I want to make a note, because we did this before uh, using almonds we had bought at Costco. And um, the... The mixing process took much, much longer because the almonds were so much drier. So this just goes to show you that fresh almonds from the farm are really important to making the best almond butter. And we also store these in the refrigerator so they stay fresh and that makes a huge difference. So um, I highly recommend getting these almonds to make your almond butter and also um, you could probably skip the part about roasting them. I think you, if you want to just have raw almond butter you can just start with the food processor and go for it.